Alright guys, Thunder E here, and this has to be the most badass gaming all-in-one from Lenovo. I don't think I've seen anything better, but anyway, you guys can tell me if I'm wrong. This is the Y910 gaming all-in-one. It packs a GTX 1080 in there, and the performance is sick. It's absolutely fantastic. It looks great. You've got Harman Kardon speakers. You've got a 27-inch display at 2560 by 1440, and again, a GTX 10, 1080 in there, which is fantastic. Uh, the display is 144 hertz G-Sync. You've got uh, killer ethernet and the power port is at the bottom there. Now you've got HDMI pass through. You've got two USB uh, 2.0 ports at the back, ethernet ports. So you can use this as a TV also at the same time, which is actually pretty good. Now you've got uh, a hook button on the top and we'll talk about it in that in a second. Uh, when you actually scroll down, you've got uh, your, your source switcher button as well as also your power switch to actually turn this device on. Now that hook basically drops down to a nice level where you can hang your headphones, which is really convenient. As a gamer, you want to have your gaming headphones close by, you can hang it there, and you can see how well it just tucks on the side. Now on the right hand side, you've got a Blu-ray drive uh, right there. You've also got four USB 3.0 ports a microphone and headphone ports 3.5 versions and of course you've also got SD card slot here so you've got all your connectivity that you need to get this thing up and running uh, now you've also got uh, Intel RealSense camera which allows you to go ahead and use Windows Hello and it easily just pops up from the top of the display now besides all that the keyboard and mouse is not the best. You would expect with something this awesome, they would throw in a gaming keyboard and mouse. So I'm a little disappointed that Lenovo did this, but of course you can get whichever preference you want. Now getting to the software here, there's not a lot added in here except to the, the Lenovo uh, uh, Nerve Center. Uh, there are a few um, additions like McAfee, but not a lot of bloatware, which is good. Uh, but firing up the Lenovo Nerve Center, you can see your specs here. It's a Core i7, the variant we have here, uh, with 16 gigs of RAM, GTX 1080, as well as two terabytes of storage, 256. You've got display settings here, not on the side of Windows. So I can't change my brightness where I normally would. I have to go through the Nerve Center, which is a little bit annoying, but at least it does give me that ability to also change the color settings for game, uh, video, uh, design mode, and you can see some of the subtle changes that you get from that uh, with it. Now, uh, you've also got display settings where you can change this here, as well as also if you right click on the desktop, of your screen and you can see the refresh rate that you get with this uh, all-in-one PC. It's really nice and I do like the Nerve Center. It's a very simplistic uh, setup so a lot of people who are looking for something easy to use, this will actually work really well. Now, when you go ahead and look at some of the other features like Discovery, uh, adding uh, extra software in there, and of course, your audio, uh, you have network uh, priority and audio. Now, let's take a quick listen to the audio of the speakers because you'll be quite impressed with the audio enhancer on or off. See, I kind of like the audio enhancers off, but I think the speakers overall do a good job. But you don't care about that. You're thinking about games. How well do they run? So the first game we're going to play, we're playing two games here. The first one is The Division. And we're going to show you it's going to be set on Ultra. Everything is all set on Ultra here. Uh, there are a few things that are off, like post FXAA, which you really don't need. But uh, go ahead and start some gameplay here. Get into this mission in the Hudson refu Refugee Camp. I'm terrible now at Division. Um, you can see here, it, it fluctuates between 60, I'll say 64 to 70, to about 80 frames per second. The average was in the 60s, about 65 or so, uh, once we get into the heat of the matter. And it all depends on what's going on within the game. But it still handled it very well. I like the fact that I was able to game on this all-in-one quite easily with this, uh, especially playing a game like Division, which is open world, there's a lot of things going on uh, in there. And I'm just gonna try and take out some of these guys, run away from that grenade, shoot him out. Um, you know, you, you get to see 
that it handles well and is clean. Now, I wish it did it a little higher, but uh, we're going to check out another game. Now, the next game is Battlefield 1, and we know that Battlefield 1 is a game that a lot of people are playing right now. So how well does that do with uh, settings uh, placed at Ultra? So we've got Battlefield 1 here. Uh, and the one thing to note is that once you go into video settings uh, and go to advance, if you have um, everything set on Ultra, DTX 12 is off. Uh, you're gonna get a varied range, you know, and a very good varied range. Though. This is between, you can see we had 85 frames per second, but the detail is absolutely fantastic. You know, it's been a while since I've used an all-in-one PC to do any kind of gaming, and the fact that I can do this with the Y910 is pretty, pretty spectacular. It's priced at, uh, this configuration is the highest configuration, priced at 1,999, starts at 1,499. You can get different uh, configurations here. I had to turn on fraps there for a second. Uh, but but you can see here, it, it does a really good job at just keeping some really high frame rates. You're doing 90 frames per second, playing Battlefield uh, on this all-in-one PC. And as someone who's looking for something that's compact, that might fit into a small space, you don't have a space for a tower and a monitor at the same time, this might be what you're looking for. You can also expand the RAM. It's, you can expand it up to 32 gigabytes. It comes with 16 gigabytes in this variant, but you can expand it all the way through. So I think it goes a long way. You see, we even hit 100 uh, frames per second take this guy out take no come on die oh anyway i, I absolutely love this machine i think it's really good uh we've got a wonderful display you've got really good speakers you've got a gtx 1080 built in there 16 gigs of ram a core i7 quad core processor for gaming so you're doing everything you need to do in terms of just pure solid performance and it looks pretty good it will fit it can work as your tv as a gaming center and I think for an all-in-one PC with that kind of power, it packs pretty well. We'll have a link for you guys down below if you're looking to pick this up. Don't forget to like and share this video, favor this video, subscribe to the channel, enter to our giveaway. We do giving away a gaming PC. And also, if you want to pick this up yourself, use the links down below and always enjoy your entertainment.